stops him. And here's the thing. If they give him way too much affection, he's going to become protective over them. Okay. That will happen like like a book. Science, like, like, like a freaking math problem. If I they think... start giving him, start showering him with affection, not giving him any structure, he will become protective over that person and want to, you know, be aggressed towards another human being. Right. And, and that happens a lot. Well, a dog like yeah. him who's submissive, who, who already kind of has that protective nature in him, yeah. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. So what what is not a lot of affection? Like nothing? I mean as far as um I mean always I know we always say no furniture, you know, no oh, that doesn't no, no, that's not what matters. It matters a bit what are you doing? You know, okay, so kisses, hugs, that So here would be a problem. Linus Linus, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. That's the kind of stuff where I, I don't know that you saw it, yeah. but even in that moment, that is what started to get Linus unsure about this new dog running in. Right. If I had never done anything with Linus, he would have been okay. Right. But the fact that I started petting him up and then a dog came in, what happens with dogs, the, the communication is so quick and it's so minute that we're petting him and giving affection and there's stuff going on that we don't even realize is going on. Right. And when we're petting them and, and giving them affection, now we're praising that, that stuff. So with Linus, even my timing wasn't very good because I was petting him and another dog came up and I'm sure from this far away, Linus started to feel uncomfortable about this dog coming up and the whole time going, good boy, good boy, good boy. And then that's when someone goes, out of nowhere, he just attacked another dog. It's like, right. oh, it's been building since all the way over there. Right. That's why I say with a dog like him, like you see how, how comfortable he I is. I know, exactly. And it's because I'm not showering him with affection. Right. Because here's the thing, dogs don't need affection ever. Right. We give it to them, and they put up with it, and they, they like it on some level. Sometimes, but yeah. But this is what a dog needs. This is what will make a dog love you forever. Give them a stress-free life, a roof over their head, consistent meals so they know they can rely on you for food, and, uh, and um, I'm sorry, I'm watching mine, so I'm just going to forget about it. So, give them uh, a roof over their head. Food, consistency. Stress-free life where yeah. there's not a lot of risk. And, and and show them they can rely on you for food. Man, that's all they need from you. They don't need anything else. They just need to know that if they follow you, they're gonna live a long life. If they feel like they're gonna live a long life following you, they'll love you forever. They don't need anything else. But we as humans are very affectionate people. You so know? we we do that so for we us. Do we that don't do that dogs. for them for because us, we think because we think they want or need it. With Linus, Linus is one of the most affectionate dogs I've ever met. As far as people, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a weirdo. He's going to come up and give you a laugh. He loves people so much. Um, and he, one of the one of the lessons he taught me was was I had to stop giving affection altogether. I mean, now we're at a place I've had for so long that I'll give him as much affection as I want. But even still, hey, my. My, you know, uh, I guess scope for affection is like this big when everyone else's is like this big. Right. So it's a little different, but even still, he's somebody where if I just gave him nothing but affection, he could be out here in the yard with this dog. Right. Because he would think it was his job to manage everything. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. So, and Rocky's, um, I mean, he's, he's hanging right with you. Is that because he's still a, a little unsure? So if he stays right with you, he feels more comfortable? Yeah, I mean, he still has that moment of, of he still feels a little unsure and definitely in the sense that if I come to him in a, you know, that mm -hmm. will kind of get him to be, mm -hmm. uh, oh no, why are you correcting me? Because to him, that's a really big correction, whereas Linus, <laughs> I, need, I need the help of a tool to really correct exact, him. Exactly, exactly. Um, but but, then, still, but then he just comes to you and sits, sits there because because that's still being, he still, I mean, he knows who who you are. I mean, he knows yeah. you're the. I mean, it, 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 it's, that, it's that mentality of no nonsense. We're not gonna screw around. We're right. not gonna, you know, okay, sometimes this, sometimes not. It's, no, it's this or that. It's black and white. And when they see that, it just, dogs latch onto that because it's exactly the way they view the world is through black and white. We as humans see everything in a giant gray scale and that doesn't exist for dogs. And we try to, Impose a gray area on them. Yeah, that's where the behavior issues start coming. Up. 
Right, right. Now, as 